Hello and welcome to another update video about ADA. Um, here not too many news, not too much price action. Still the view remains that this should eventually come down, at least as long as we stay below this wave too high at 46.3 cents. So this is an important resistance level here on the one hour chart, here resistance, here resistance, here resistance, yeah. So that is an important level. It also would, if we break above that level, invalidate this impulsive price action to the downside, because this wave here, the wave four, or any other wave if we retrace more, should not break above the wave two, not in this downtrend count. If it happens, something else is going on and we probably have um, to deal here with a more complex corrective pattern. So what you need to understand, even if we break this resistance level, it would, in my opinion, not be bullish unless I can count a structure of five waves up and three waves down. But just taking out this resistance level will not make this count or chart suddenly bullish. There are too, net, too many levels that just need to be taken out. Um, here we've got the 48.3 cent level, we've got 49 cents, we've got 52.4 as a very important one. This is the peak of a triangle pattern um, and um, which normally breaks out to the downside. At the moment, however, we are just hovering around support. So generally what you say when such a triangle pattern breaks, confirmation that it breaks will be obtained as soon as we break below the wave D low. And that is here at 42.4 cents. So this low, yeah, we haven't broken that yet. There is a lot of support in this area, as you can see, um, but we're hovering around that support, dancing on that support. And um, my view is this should break as per the Elliott wave count. If it doesn't, then my first take is that we're just going to see a little bit of a more of a corrective move up in the first instance, all the way up to 48.3 cents. Um, but again, as long as we are moving below that wave too low, we are all moving according to plan. And as per this specific count, we would even say that here we move down in a wave three bottomed out locally here at 42.5 cents. You can see we did not break below the wave D low, very interesting. Um, but this is not a bullish move that we've made here. Yeah? So as you can see, this looks very much like a um, three wave structure here, ideally for a wave four. As I showed you in the previous video, we have retraced to the 38.2% FIP level at 44 cents, the ideal level for a wave four. Um, a wave four oftentimes is a triangle, so this could even evolve into a triangle structure again, a smaller triangle. So we could say A, B, C, D, E, and then we could break to the downside. So what that means is that as soon as we break here below the 43 cent level, that will be a first indication we are breaking down and confirmation would be obtained below 42.6 or let's even call it 42.5 cents because then we would even break the larger triangle to the downside and would then roll over probably with a high likelihood and eventually get down to 30 cents. That would be my ideal target to complete this larger correction because the 30 cent level is ADAR's 88.7% um, FIP level of the larger cycle. If I zoom out. Huh? Look at the larger cycle here from this larger wave impulse, which topped out in May 21. This 30 cent level is the 88.7% FIP level. So um, yeah, this is not my entire ADA chart. I actually have only, because this is the particular bearish count, I've only labeled the last bit here. Um, but also here, longer term, we look at this here as a wave one, this a wave two, Next move up would be a wave three, then a four and a five. But the wave three in the next all time high bull run should take us to at least 450. Yeah. So this is sort of the, the larger, the bigger picture. And then we head here from the wave one to the wave two, which is probably not finished yet. We had here an A, B, C pattern with an overshooting wave B. Generally long term, no issues with the ADA chart. Yeah, We've made a nice new high in the, um, in the bull run. And from that point of view, all okay. We're also above the 88.7% FIP level. All good. 
just need a bit, of, bit more patience until ADA has bottomed out here. Okay, and that's my update about ADA. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.